Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from the Automator, and uh, we were we someone requested um, on Prompt Assistant. They bought it, and they said on their laptop, it, the the GUI is just too tall for his resolution. And we were making updates to Prompt Assistant. I'm like, Hey Isaias, what if we were to do? And all of a sudden, we both like we're going. Well, wait a minute here on the screen, like that icon up top is taking up a lot of real estate, and we have a big chunk of space down here where we're not. We don't have anything, so. Right. Why don't we redesign this GUI and move things around? And we were thinking, okay, right. well, the edit fields up at the top and shift the GUI. Right. But this we thought was, uh, okay, let's see if we practice what we preach as far as the, <laughs> the GUI is designed. Correct. Quote, quote, right. Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, they're not static locations and things aren't a nightmare to update. This is where if you use a GUI creator, a syntax GUI creator, you're like, this oh, would be a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, this, this would, would be a nightmare. nightmare. Right. right, right. So let's let's see if uh, how, how hard how hard this will be. So mainly, I usually have my controls depend on the previous one. So if I move this box to the top, all the other controls should follow the the change. Yeah. The only thing that I will find a little bit challenging, I I think this will be a problem, is this um. These, how do I call them? The the group boxes, the group boxes like the icon thing here and the general info here. Those group oh, boxes, sure. right? Those are annoying because they don't follow the same rules as other controls. So that I will be expecting to be a little bit of a problem, but not big enough for me to spend five hours on this. Right. Now, um, the main idea: let's go ahead and start moving this box to the top and see what happens. And this will be somewhat e easy. Here's my general info box, right? And everything, as you can see, I don't have an X and Y position that is kind of like a fixed number. If this X position was 300, that would be a big problem. That's what those GUI creators do. They give you very specific locations. But at least it's just, um, uh, they are... How do I say? Uh, they respond to the previous control. They're responsive, so to speak. I should be able to move this around. So this is the pick icon button. You see it right here. This is the button. And that's where I want to put the, this group below that button. Let's see what happens. So I think I am in the correct place. Let me just do this. And the last thing would be for the general information. Uh, the general information has the hot string label right there. So here's my label, and this is the edit field. So I'm going to put a space in between. So I know that this is just a group. Just with that change, let's see what happens. Um, so when I come back um, and I try to open this up, look, I moved the box up. I, my GUI is not terribly broken. <laughs> Which I guarantee, if you have done this yeah. in a different, uh, you know, with a with a GUI creator, you will have a whole big of a nightmare. Now, you see the spacing between the this type box and the last control. The spacing of the type control was based off of this button right here. So what I have to do is, you see the general info. If after the general info, I had a snippet. So the spacing between the snippet and the general info box should be the same between the type and that box. So I will just copy the spacing between the snippet to the type. So let's go ahead and do that. So the snippet label for that group box, the XM was correct and I was not calculating the Y position. So that means that for my type here, if I have a Y, look at it right here, you see the Y plus M, I just have to remove that and it should work just fine. Zoom in just a little bit on the, right. Just, that, that's good, that's fine. Thank right. you. So let me just do this, right. So what's, as I was saying, for the type, I had an Y plus M, but for the snippet, I didn't have any Ys. So if I just remove the Y plus M from here, it should look good. So let's refresh that. And let's open it up again. We've got it. And not, notice how the, the type distance now is fixed. Everything is right now. 
as I wanted. The only thing now is that I need this icon to be displayed in this box. And that's going to be the one that I think is a little bit challenging, but it's just because of the uh, how the group boxes work. So, OK, so let's move this in there. Uh, so we have the icon. As the icon is above this guy, that's the reason why it's showing up there. So let's move it below. But here's my problem. This YM right here is pushing everything to the top of the GUI. So it's pushing the icon to the top of the GUI. I don't want that. I want that to be more or less on the same location as this menu label. So let's look at the menu label and put it there. So the menu label is this guy. What is its Y? It's Y previous plus 20. That's what I'm going to use for this guy. Um, I cannot do that because my previous now is the hot string edit field. So I don't think that's where I want it. I know for a fact that that's not what I wanted. So this is going to be interesting because, well, I had a section right here. What happens with sections is that I can save that location. Well, I could use this section right here. How do you use a section? Well, you use YS. That is the saved location of the last section. And I don't need that as a section any longer. Let's go ahead and do that. See if that looks at least a little bit a little bit better than, there it goes. Okay, so the location here is where the section was. I just want to push it a little bit up. I don't want it down that much. And then I have to move it left, okay? So push it up a little bit. So YS minus, let's say five pixels. I think that fixes it. And the X location here is wrong. I don't want this number right here. Let's do X plus, M, I would assume that. So I'm just adding the margin. That's what it means, the M here. Just the normal margin of all controls. And now when I reload this thing, that should not be that bad. You see that? That's looking a little bit better. What do you think, Joe? I know, right? right. Yeah. So, so this is now the change yeah. icon button is the one that I do need. Yeah. And that's I, I remember that's the reason why I had the um, section, because I wanted this to line up with the box right here. But I don't want the button right there. I think we will want it on the on the right, yeah, I guess. Agreed. And can you right. move, it should be easy now to move the your icon box over to the right a little bit, just because we got the Yes, right. yes. So now it, it will be not that easy because you oh, cannot. Oh, well, then never mind. It's no, no, no. I, I was going to say, uh, let, me, let me explain something. This M right here, let me show you. So this is the icon. This M right here is the same as if I use the margin, this X margin right here. You see, it's the same. So if I want to do math on the margin, I cannot just add plus five here. That's not going to work. But I could replace that with the margin and then say plus, I don't know, five. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so it, it is not ex right. directly easy to do but yeah it is not that hard it's, it's easy to do when you have a clue what you're doing right <laughs> yeah basically yeah. yeah so now here's the other part here's the other part now i want this right here right. again i don't want a fixed position now i don't know where to put it maybe at the bottom here no I'd... i no 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 what i was going to say oh. here's the math that i'm going to do i'm going to place it at the bottom and then move it up a little bit is what I think I should do. So that would be Y margin, so the normal margin. Let's let's start with the margin so you see what I'm getting at. So here's the button. You see the Y plus 15? I don't want that. I want that to be the X, so that's to the right. I want it to write. If I wanted to write, I just need plus M here. That's going to move it to the right, the margin amount. And the Y, if you do a negative number, it would start. So it would be Y plus minus 15. That would pull it up. That's something that is a little bit tricky here. But remember, the plus sign is just to put it at the end of the previous control. 
plus the amount of pixels that you want. And that amount of pixels could be negative. That's what I'm doing. So plus minus, this is a weird concept. I wish it would be like Y minus 15. It's not like that. You have to put the plus there. But that you will see what does right now. Oops. You see how it moved it 15? So it moved it to the right. And then let me do this. You will see what happens here. So if I make it plus M, Y plus M, it would put it below the last control. So here, Y plus M would put it, you see where the, the yeah. thing finishes? And, and actually, we're talking about the icon, not the box. That's the reason why those boxes are a little bit annoying because they don't count in our yeah. hotkey. That's what happens. So the last thing is this icon. And from that icon, I added 15 pixels. And it goes down. You see that? If I make it negative, it will start at the bottom of it and go 15 pixels up. That's what is going on. So I will say plus minus 15. And um, we were talking about the pick icon here, plus minus. Now, usually, let me see, the size of a button, the default size is 20 pixels, I think it is. 20 height and 75 width is what the defaults are, I, I think. So when I do that, you will get the button just, you see, just above it. I could keep pushing it to be, you know, in the center. I don't know if that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Yeah. I want it to line up with the drop down here. So instead of 20, I will make it 15. And I just, this is the part that I manually do it until I feel satisfied. So I just go, yeah, minus 15 might be a good idea, 15. And that's it. We did this in about 10 minutes, I think, five minutes. That's amazing. You see, but, but that is if the thing was built in a way that you could do these kind of things. If you didn't build it that, if you didn't build it that way, this is not going to be an easy task, especially if you use those GUI builders. You're going to have a hard time doing this. Yeah, it is a real nightmare to do this. Yeah. Now, let's, even though I know the main reason why we did this was to shrink the height, Let's add a little more height to the default snippet. Not a lot, but like one or two rows. Right. I think that's, we gained enough space where we can add a little bit. Right. So now remember, this is the, right. this is the part that I don't like about those boxes. I use them, but I don't like them. Is that they don't grow or shrink automatically. So I have to do two changes here. I have to change the rows for the snippet. And I do have to change the row for that box right there. That box is purely visual I was and, gonna step, yeah, right step. and that means that um for the snippet right here if i have 10 and i add two more got two rows you will see that then it will overlap with the box that's what's going to happen so you see that now it's overlapping that's not enough i need more i would say five rows i guess so instead of 12 i'll make it 15. But you see how they overlap. You see that? So that's the part that I don't like about those boxes. So that means that now I have to go to the snippet. And if it was five, we will make it, you know, 12, 13, right? That should, in theory, be the default size. Oh, that's another thing. The row count for the box is different than the row count for the, the edit field. And that's why now this is a manual step. I have to manually figure out what the size will be. It's still, it's, it's, a, it's not that much work, but yeah, it's just part of, yeah, that's just a little bit. I will make it uh, seven here, I think 10.7 until I feel satisfied, but you get the idea. There you go. Uh, okay. So I think that should be um, a good basic example or practical example of that, why we happened, want it that way yeah what happened to our prompt our main window no why is it getting truncated where i'm sorry the main window close that window. oh here oh that's a good question oh i think it is because i'm opening it before it's being shown so I, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 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 show, i'm showing the thing too fast i've never it seen is, that that's no, interesting no so so when I'm reloading the script, if I show the GUI before the GUI is finishes drawing properly, yeah, 
it might do something really like that. It's, it's a very wow. yeah there it I've is i've never seen that that's me that's... neither I, I just assumed that's the case oh. because we if i let it run and finish the thing it does it normally you see so but not we want to fix this but could is that a setting you could have to say wait for this to be done before we continue this is actually in code what happens is Part of what I do before finishing creating the GUI is loading some data. So if I'm loading the data and I hit the hotkey to kind of like show the GUI, it is not, I don't know what it is, it's not properly done. No, it's okay. But if, okay. I add, if I move the load to after the things are being loaded, then well, after the GUI has been loaded, then I, I wouldn't think that would be the problem. And it gets back to GUIs themselves you can start anywhere, right? And yeah, when you that's the accelerator key to do the stuff, it yeah, you get some yeah. interesting things that happen. <laughs> so uh for those that's this was really good. cool. Um if you guys are interested in learning more about GUIs, we have a great intro to GUIs course, both in V1 and V2, but the the V2, like I would hands down not even look at GUIs in V1. Like in V2, okay, you have to know objects, but it's so much easier to read and to look at, except for the radio checkboxes, right? This is something you said you're. Well, I don't wonder. like how they work. It's not that they're difficult, but once you understand how they work, that's totally fine. But uh, check it out. Um, and thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day. Cheers.